Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Christian from Christian's Crafty Adventures. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the newest release from KS Crafts. It's for July and it's Halloween edition. So let's get started. <laughs> So guys, the first thing we're going to look at, let me fix my layout right here. First thing we're going to be looking at are the sequence mix. Um, Hannah was super kind enough to send me the sequence mix. And these are some new ones at the shop. And this one is spiders. Spiders right here. And then you can definitely attach them together because there's holes in there. And this is one pack. There's a lot in one pack. Very beautiful. You can add them to your sequence mix, sprinkle mix. Next one is a pink ghost. I love, love, love these. They're so cute. They have the pink and the white ghost. I'm going to show you the pink one first. So cute. So cute. And they're good size right here. Very beautiful pink. And of course, there's white ghost. I love this. The white ghost is this shape. I want to show you the shape. Oh, there's one pink that's attached to me. See? See the shape of this one? So that's the shape of that ghost. I want to be able to show you. Cute, 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 isn't it? Um, next one are these bats. There's, there's the black one has like bats and... Skulls. This is the bat shape right here, and there's a hole in the middle. So if you want to kind of attach them together, make a bead out of them, you can. Another black one. These are black cats. So depends on your mood. If you like the cats, this one also has the hole in it, so you can create and attach them together, which is multifunction. Next one is the orange bats. It's the same shape, same shape as the black one, but this one is in orange. Very cute, super fun. This one does not have any holes in it though. The black one did. Next one are the pumpkins. I want to show you what they look like. That's what the pumpkins look like. They're super cute. Love the personalities. Next, I'm going to put these aside. Next is the skull crossbow. Skull and crossbones. I think that's what it's called. And then you get the eye, the eyes and the negative portion. That's what it looks like right there. Next and the last one is this skull shape. This one does not have bones, just the skull. And that's what it looks like right there. Perfect, perfect. Next, we're going to talk about the dies. They have garlands right here. And these garlands are confetti as well. So I'm imagining you can make these into pink ghosts. I think that'll be so, so much fun. Right there. And then you can create your own confetti. Or if you want to use it as garland, you can. Right there. And this one is the coffin as well. You can make your own coffin. And then there's pumpkin shapes right here. Super cute. Super fun to play with. This would be perfect for any project actually to decorate absolutely everything. Cards everything everything next is this one is like um lightning and bite marks or scratch marks this is a very unique die i've never seen this done before so these are the scratch marks and then this one is the lightning and as you can see there are stitch marks which makes it so absolutely amazing so i'm going to be trying my hand on that Next is the cauldron memory decks, and the cauldron has different um, layers of the flame. This one, the cauldron, it has the inside portion, the overflow, and the smoke that comes out. 
very cute very very cute if you are in a swap if you're in a memory deck swap this would be so so perfect for you next oh, i love these potion bottles honestly i love potion bottles and this is so so cute i cannot wait to play with these look how pretty it's like a small end this one is the large and this one is the small aren't they so beautiful my goodness and then you get the tag and then you get the cork so so beautiful i'm so excited to play with this and of course you can also use this for valentine's day or any kind of season especially valentine's day so cute love the shape there's this creepy butterfly i've never seen this creepy butterfly done before but i think it's absolutely creepy look at these oh my goodness look at that and then there's two look how how creepy this looks right it's like it's like a cursed butterfly and that's the that's the size of it compared to your hand so there's two sizes one large and one small and you get them in one pack the next one is a truck i think hannah is going to be doing a series so she's going to release like right now she released a truck i feel like there's going to be add-ons to this so stay tuned stay tuned for that look how cute this truck is it's the perfect size for cards you guys and especially for a lot of us who's struggling to create masculine cards this would be so freaking perfect so you get the base you get the um, the outer portion you get the layers plus you get add-ons that you can add to absolutely anything and everything so cute and even the license plate and things so so cute is that so pretty here i'm gonna set i'm gonna put this aside look how cute it is i hope you can see it look how pretty that is i love this this is adorable and i love this bat that's a beautiful shape cute 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 there's cats the cross oh that's creepy so that would be so cute especially the spider web so i think there's going to be add-on to this that's going to be probably christmas or fall that would be so, so much fun. What I do for these that have add-ons, I get a, a ring and then I attach them together. That's what I did for the tiered tray. This is the tiered tray right here. And I have all the add-ons like summer, winter, Easter. It's all added in there and it's all organized. Next one, these are balloon conversation hearts cute 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 it says bite me haunt boo and ghoul how cute is that that'll be a fun addition to your embellishments especially if you cut it in foam next is the trick or treat i love 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 this typewriter font trick or treat and then love this font so very much i'm excited to do that oh yes 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 the sentiments this year and looks like hannah received feedback that everybody loved last year's font this says halloween creepy wicked says 31st this one says scream and this one says spells so i'm so so excited to add that to last year's halloween sentiments um i'll i'll show you in a different video I'm going to be creating samples and I'll show you at the end of the video the samples, you guys, okay? Next one is a spiderweb mini album, which is absolutely adorable. Right here. Ooh. And you get multiple spiders. That one. Oh, you get so many spiders and shakers as well. So this one is a shaker for this. And then these are two sizes. And then this one is your shaker bit. Beautiful. And I love the fact that it is stitched. I'm so, so excited. So excited to try this. It's a beautiful spin on a classic Halloween. Next is your banner. 
adorable this one is boo scary ghost witch and candy they released another version of this during valentine's and i think it's so super cute so i may be adding them together so cute i love it i love it i cannot wait and this one of course is the add-on to the house so this one says costume this, this uh i think it got released for summer and this one is what i made for the ice cream version i made it halloweenified but this one says costume and i love the fact that the font is the same so you can you can add whatever you want and you know make a different spelling and i love 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 that the coffin is um coffin coffin door shaped so this is the main one and then this is the add-on i'm gonna add them together this one is the sign right here skull there's a ghost a bat and some spider webs and some signs and the witch's boot I love the coffin door so very much, you guys. The coffin door is absolutely wonderful, wonderful. Cannot wait to make a village of these. Next are these beautiful bats. I am going to cut these in different colors. And this is a small and large. So let me show you what the size difference is. This one is like here and this one is a size difference beautiful beautiful to have this handy and kind of you can technically insert it anywhere if you want to that'll be super super fun so i'm going to put this back and then this is going to be i don't know about you guys how do you guys organize your dies i organize my dies into seasons for example halloween christmas i have sentiments all together easter you know that kind of thing how do you guys organized i would love to know in the description box this one hannah and ks crafts have been doing a lot more like a sentiment and um a die and stamp combo which i absolutely absolutely love and this one this is the shape of the ghost and you get all the options of the facial expression and this is the sign and then here are your stamps boo to you here for the candy pumpkin patch i love the fonts Haunted Mansion, Trick or Treat, Halloween Town, Welcome Ghouls, which is Way, Happy Halloween, Spooky Street is so cute. K Creep It Real, Happy Haunting, Beautiful, Spooky, Halloween Town, Trick or Treat. Love that. I cannot wait to try it. And you're not just limited to limited to this sign die. You can add it to absolutely everything. Don't limit yourself. You can add it to a card if you want to. This one is a cat bow die. And there's two sizes. And you can layer the dies multiple times. That's what... Look how cute! It reminds me of Felix the cat. And then there's two sizes of the cats and the whiskers. Very cute. Very, very cute. And I love the fact that the bows are stitched. We're going to the last few. Oh, this cat mini album is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look how pretty. And you get an add-on. You get some extra. That's the nose. Extra web. And the shaker option for the cat, which I absolutely love. Love, love, love. So cute. And then you get a ghost. You get pumpkin. You get a little itty bitty cat. And this is the two sides, some bats, some bones, and of course a spider web. Cannot wait. Last but not the least is your pumpkin jelly bag. So KS Crafts has been releasing the jellies. And this one is for Halloween or fall. And they give you some extras to give a facial expression. And the facial expressions are stitched. These are stitched as well, which is gorgeous. All the additional elements are stitched. And they appear very, very sturdy. So I'm excited to try everything, you guys. Um, I will be um, showing you at the end of the video what samples I've created for you. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoy. So the next part is my samples. 
Okay, you guys, so this is the last part of the video. I made some samples. I didn't use all of the dyes, but I did use some of the dyes. Um, the first one is this kitty cat. I love the kitty cat. I feel like it's the non-scary part of the cat. And then I made it into a suitcase. Of course, it has a lot of space on the inside. So that's super, super fun. I think it's so absolutely fun and it could be it could be a non Halloween cat so I have some ideas for that because I'm gonna follow the colors of the cat in the um, the doodle bug cat cat collection so I'm gonna follow the colors but I think the potential for this dye is super cute especially if you're a cat lover so that's the suitcase right there I think it's adorbs and then I used the I used the potion bottle. I just simply made some shakers. And then I'm recycling these these packaging like for the puffy icon stickers and the mini icon stickers. I'm recycling them because I think it's super super cute. And then you're going to notice I added a lot of acetate. So this one and then I added adhesive already. So that's what it looks like. And then here's another one. And I added some twine. And I sandwiched the twine between like two puffy stickers. I think that's super cute. And it lends itself into like a puffy bead kind of. And then the cobwebs, that's part of the truck. And then the bats, you know, there were just like two packs of the bats cute and then this one is next see I just use the puffy to create like a like a charm so that's gonna go there I need to add the adhesive again um next one is I actually I use the I made a sprinkle mix and this is what I used with a cat and I use the pink ghost this is from my stash from last year, essentially. And then I just added, I just added the new, the new ones from KS Crafts. So I added the orange bat, and then the ghost, the spiders, and then the pink ghost and the white ghost to give it a pop. So that's pretty cute, and this is what it looks like as a base. So last year, KS Crafts released the fish and the ghost. And so I added those last year, and so I added more of that. So it became this one. It's so, so cute, and I love the pops of color. Next, I made, I, of course, I had to use, I had to use the sentiments because I love the sentiments. And then I just added some mini icon stickers and some more dyes, like the bats. And the cross from the truck. So essentially, this is what it looks like. I used a lot of acetate to make it kind of sturdy. So I added everything on acetate and then added the... And then added the adhesive right there super simple just the adhesive just the sentiment right here and some stickers it's very very simple and then essentially you just layer it up this one got attached very well see super cute and fabulous right and then next one i did 31st scream and halloween same concept same same concept um, this one is a Halloween, some ghost, and then 31st, perfect for an October daily or a card. And then what I love about it is you can layer it up as much as you want or it can be super simple. Let me show you, I just simply made a pink pink and black combination and it's absolutely gorgeous especially the font is so pretty look at that 
Isn't that pretty? So I just, so beautiful. So beautiful. Love the font. Love the font so much. And then another one that I made were these banners. I thought these banners were super cute. This one is blush and white. That's the coffin. And then I made the pumpkin one, which is pink. Pink and orange. So pretty. This reminds me of like the Frank Garcia collection. And then the ghost. It's like lilac and pink. Cute, cute, cute. I mean, you can do it whatever color you prefer. But I was playing with these colors. The bats. So this is what it looks like plain. And then you add you add your um, your decorative layer and makes it super super fabulous um, and then I did do a lot more die cutting right here look how pretty these are so essentially I just did all of the all all of the accessories for the truck and the two bat sets this is all isn't this so pretty so I just pick here if I wanted some embellishments so that's what I'm gonna do I'm like gonna keep it right here this is the um, the spider web from the truck and there's another spider web that's bigger from the cat collection so what I'm gonna do I think is I'm gonna add all of the embellishments like all the accessories in one pile I love the shape of this of the skull this is so cute so super cute you can layer this up with anything and everything so anyway so that's all oh uh, that's essentially all of what i've done so far stay tuned for more projects i am i am i have some ideas for the next few projects and i'm so excited to show you guys so stay tuned it's gonna be on my instagram and I hope you enjoyed the quick project share that I did for you. Um, I'm going to put everything in the description box so that if this is something you're interested in, you can just click and you don't have to find everything. It's all there for you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This is Christian signing off. Have a wonderful crafty day. Bye now.